Hi, in today's video what we're going to be doing is we're going to be purchasing our domain name for our website. So here we are at GoDaddy.com. The reason why we're at GoDaddy is this is the domain name reseller that I use. I use them because they often have specials, their domain names are fairly priced, and uh, I've never had a problem with them. I believe they, they uh, advertise 99.9% .9 uptime. Um, that's something I believe just because I've, I've never had an issue. Um, with that being said, you can use absolutely any domain name reseller that you like. Uh, most of them will have the same interface that we're going to be um, using today in order to purchase your domain name. Um, so I'll leave a link for GoDaddy at the bottom of this video if you would prefer to use GoDaddy. And if not, feel free to use any which one that you like. And here's how to go forward. So you just come up and you, when you get onto this page, which is just straight up GoDaddy.com, uh, you're going to create an account. Okay, there's a whole bunch of comprehensive information here that you want to fill out. And the reason why you want to fill it out is because this is what's going to give you ownership to your little piece of the web, which is going to be your domain name. Okay, so uh, please fill this out as comprehensively as possible. And once that's done, then you're going to be able to get to your home page, which will look like this. So what you want to do is you want to go down to, to start your domain search here and you just want to put in uh, first you want to pick your modifier okay dot it's uh, dot com is the default but you can also pick up dot co which is a new modifier or newer modifier and there's dot info dot net dot org dot me dot moby dot us uh, you know dot tv the, it goes on and on you can pick any that you like there are some some uh, restrictions um, on which modifier you can purchase. You can only buy a .ca if you're in Canada. You can only buy a .u, uh, .us if you have a US mailing address and so on like that. But pretty much um, as far as buying a .net or a .com or a .info um, or a .biz, you can be in any country and uh, that's quite alright to buy. So put your domain name in here that you wish to purchase. So we're going to put in Rob's Rockin' Rollerskates.com and I'm going to hit go. Okay, and it takes me to this page which gives me a big check mark saying Rob's Rockin' Rollerskates.com is available. So I can purchase that right now, um, the .com, or I could purchase any of the others except for a .us because I'm in Canada, um, and uh, use one of one of those modifiers. Now I'm just going to take a second to go over modifiers. Um, .com is the most popular modifier because it's the oldest. It's the original. So a lot of people feel that it's the most valuable modifier that you can have. It is because um, if someone is unsure about what to type in, uh, so let's say I just told them that my that my web address was Rob's Rock and Roller Skates. Okay, but let's say I didn't purchase .com. Let's say I bought .ca. Okay, the person is going to type in. Uh, if I don't tell them the modifier, they're they're automatically going to type in .com because that is what we're conditioned to do. So in that sense, a .com is a little more valuable. If someone's clicking on the link, like if you're going to be putting the link either on business cards or you're going to be putting it within articles or doing different types of online marketing or uh, physical direct marketing with it, then it makes no difference because they're going to be copying uh, the information that you give them and inputting it. So really the dot com makes a difference when you are doing when you're speaking to people. With that being said, we're gonna go forward with purchasing our uh, our domain. Okay, so I'm gonna buy the dot com. Okay, and now it's over here in my little shopping cart. One domain pending registration with his Rob's Rock and Roller Skates dot com and I'm gonna continue to registration. Okay, now what here, this is just, this is not something that you need. This is an upsell. So what they're trying to do 
is they're trying to upsell me the other available modifiers, .net, .org, .info, um, and so on. If you're interested in purchasing these, by all means, this is a good time to do it because they give you they they save you 62%. Okay, for this case, uh, I'm going to hit no thanks, which is probably what the majority of you are going to do, and it's going to take us to step two of um, your domain registration. Now, the registration length, uh, it's going to it gave me a default there of five years. Make sure that you change that. I suggest that you take it for at least two years, and if you're if it's going to be a, a name of your company that you're that you want to grow with and go forward with, and you do have the money, then you can buy it for up to ten years. If you don't have the type of cash that you know for for a ten year purchase uh, or five or three, I would I wouldn't go below two years. Most of the time, when you purchase something for one year, the search engines don't really take you seriously, and they won't. It, it'll be more difficult for you to rank. Okay. Again, if that's not a concern for you, then go ahead. I always buy my domains two years. Okay. So then we hit next. Now here's another part of your registration. Okay, and this is about your privacy. Now I always keep mine public. Okay, it's standard registration. It's included in what you purchased. Okay, and. Uh, what it means is that that anyone who does a who is search on that on your website will know who owns the URL. They'll know who, who owns the domain. Okay? If you like, you can pay for privacy with business registration and you can select that. It's an additional fifteen dollars per year, or you can have a completely protected registration where nobody will ever find out who has the URL, as well as uh, you know, expiration protection and transfer protection, and so on. Uh, and every anyway, all of those are right here, and you can read about them and choose the product you most want. Okay, I generally just go for the standard registration. You may feel the need to to purchase a different product. Okay, so then you just go to next. Okay, and it'll take us to this page right here. So the registration type is public, which is what I purchased, and it's for two years, which is what I wanted. They're offering me again these matching domains, okay, with the different modifiers. Everything else on this page you don't need, okay. So if you'd like, you can round up for charity. Uh, oh, and here's something that you definitely want to do. This will save you a little money here, where it says enter promo or source code. Well, what I generally do, I'm going to pause the video for a second. And here we go. What I've done is I've opened up Google, and you go Go Daddy Coupon, okay, and just hit search. And here it comes up. Go Daddy promo codes. Click on one of those. Any one that comes up. This is ten percent off the order, um, and there'll be a whole bunch of different ones here. Twenty percent off, and it'll tell you down the right hand side the success rate. So this one is 100% successful, so is this, so is this. These ones all seem to be 100% successful. Uh, there's one that's 60%, there's one that's 42%. Okay, so some of them obviously work better than others, but it's a good way to save some money. Even if you save, you know, 5 or $10, this only took a few seconds, and you just made that savings. So what I did is I went to Google, I typed in GoDaddy coupons, and I just, uh, I just picked... Um, a site and, and went and, and got them. So you're going to come over here and you're going to enter your promo code right there. Okay, hit apply. And the reason why I'm not doing this is because I'm not going to check out. Okay, I don't want to buy this domain name, so this is where I'm going to stop right here. Okay, so pretty much what you do is you put in your coupon code, there's going to be your order total. Okay, and you continue to check out, and it's going to take your information. You can pay uh, PayPal, or you can pay uh, any form of credit card, I believe. And uh, then the domain name is going to be yours. So congratulations, you've just purchased your website domain name.